So this is our expression that we are going to simplify. Here are several laws of Boolean algebra that we are going to use in simplifying this Boolean expression. This is the simplification of Boolean expression part 2 video. In previous video we have seen why we need to do the simplification. What is the requirement of simplification of Boolean expression? And after that we have solved several examples. Here in this video we are going to solve different types of examples of simplification of Boolean expression. So without doing any delay, let's get started. So in step number one, let me show you that how many gates we suppose to use if we want to implement this equation, right? So to implement this, we'll use AND gate, then OR gate, another OR gate, then AND gate, OR gate, OR gate, and AND gate. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We suppose to use 7 gates to represent this equation. Now let's simplify it and see how many gates we'll use at the end of simplification. So in step number one of simplification, what we'll do, we'll multiply this C with this A and with this C. And we'll do the same process with this B. So here we get AC into CC plus AB plus BC plus this BC as it is. Now here you can see this law A into A gives us A. So the same thing you can see over here, it is C into C. So C into C that gives us C. And the similar law you can see over here, A plus A gives us A. So over here, instead of this B, C, you just assume this B, C as A. Then it simply becomes A plus A, right? So A plus A is equal to A. So instead of this, we can write and now let's make these two modifications in this term and we'll get AC plus C. Instead of this C into C, we'll get C. And instead of this BC plus BC, we'll get 1 BC. Now here you can see, we can take C common from this term. So if we take C common, then we'll get C into A plus 1 plus AB plus BC. Now here you can see that this a plus 1 is another boolean algebra law. a plus 1 is equal to 1. So we can simply replace this a plus 1 with 1 and then we'll get c plus ab plus bc. Now here from these two terms you can take c common. So if you take c common from these two terms you will get ab plus c into b plus 1. Again, you can write this b plus 1 is equal to 1 using the same law a plus 1 is equal to 1. So the modified equation will look like this a into b plus c. So this is the simplified version of this boolean expression. Now let's see how many gates we supposed to use to represent this equation or gate and and gate. So we can represent this equation using only two gates and before the simplification process to represent the same equation we supposed to use seven gates. So this is the impact of simplification of Boolean expression. Before we move ahead to the next example, you quickly tell me which are the laws of Boolean algebra that we have used to simplify this expression. Let me give you a hint. One of the law is identity law, A into A is equal to A. So which are the other laws that we have used to simplify this expression? Once you are done with that, now let's move ahead. So this is the second expression that we are going to simplify and this is a little bit more complex than previous one. But before we jump to the solution, first let's write how many gates we supposed to use to implement this equation. So OR gate, then AND gate, NOT gate, OR gate, AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we supposed to use 7 gates to implement this equation. So now let's start the solution. So here we have total 3 terms. So what are we supposed to do? We supposed to multiply 2 terms in order to simplify it. So first let's select which are the 2 terms that we can multiply. Here we have A plus B bar 
here we have c bar plus b and here we have c plus b so if we multiply this c plus b and c bar plus b then we can have some common terms and we can simplify it further so in step number one we are going to multiply this and this term so we'll get a plus b bar as it is this c bar multiplies with c we'll get c bar c plus c bar multiplies with b we'll get c bar b plus this b multiplies with this c will get b c and then again this b multiplies with this b will get b b now here you can see we have this law a into a bar gives us zero the same thing we can implement over here c bar into c that gives us zero one more law we can implement that is a into a is equal to a so simply b into b becomes b so when we further simplify this term we'll get a plus b bar c bar b because this term becomes zero b c as it is and this b into b becomes b now here you can see in these two terms we can take b common so when we take this b common we'll get b into c bar plus c plus b and this term stays as it is now c bar plus c which is similar to a plus a bar and that gives us 1 so instead of this c bar plus c we can write 1 so further simplified equation will look like this a plus b bar into b plus b now if we multiply this a with this b and this b will get a b plus a b plus this b bar multiplies with this b and with this b we will get b bar into b b bar into b so this b bar into b becomes zero because a into a bar is zero so this b bar into b is also becomes zero now here we have two a into b plus a into b so if we take this a into b is equal to a then this becomes a plus a and a plus a is equal to one that we have seen many times here it is a plus a is equal to 1 so this a b plus a b becomes a b and the result is this from this step you can simplify this equation like this also this b plus b becomes b so here we have a plus b bar into b now this b multiplies with this a and this b bar then we we'll get a b plus b into b bar now b into b bar becomes 0 so we left with a into b but our end result will be same in both the solution so to represent this equation we require only one AND gate and previously we supposed to use 7 gates so this is the impact of simplification of boolean expression and yeah if you are enjoying this video then do not forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to this channel right so once you are done with that let's move to the next example so this is our final example of this video if we want to implement this expression then we supposed to use or gate not gate and gate not gate or gate and gate and gate and not gate so either you consider and gate and not gate or you directly take it as nand gate so we'll consider it as nand gate so we supposed to use 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 gates we supposed to use so now let's start the solution so in step number one we are going to multiply these two terms so when we multiply these two terms we'll get a into b bar as it is this b bar multiplies with this b we'll get b into b bar b bar into c and then b into c c into c bar here this c into c bar will be equal to zero the same way this b into b bar will be equal to zero because this a into a bar is equal to zero so using this equation we can write zero equal to these two terms so when we put zero over here we'll get a into b bar into c bar into b bar plus b into c now when we apply de morgan's theorem on this term we'll get a bar plus b bar in place of this a into b bar and this term stay as it is now we are going to multiply these two terms we'll get a bar into b bar into c bar plus a bar into b c plus b bar into b bar into c bar plus b bar into b c 
so simply b bar into b gives us zero so this term will become zero and simply b bar into b bar becomes b bar so here we have only b bar into c bar so when we simplify this equation we'll get a bar b bar c bar a bar b c into b bar c bar now here from these two terms you can see b bar into c bar we can take common so when we take this b bar into c bar common we'll get b bar into c bar a bar plus 1 plus a bar b c now this a bar plus 1 will be equal to 1 you can take a plus 1 is equal to 1 or a bar plus 1 is equal to 1 so here we'll get b bar into c bar plus a bar and this is the simplified boolean expression of this previous equation to represent this equation we supposed to use 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 gates this is 3 input and gate so we supposed to use 6 gates So here are some examples that you need to solve it by yourself and then you supposed to write the answer in comments. I'll check your answer and respond to you whether it is correct or not. In next video we are going to learn simplification of boolean expression using Carnot map. So see you into the next video of this playlist.